Beyonce just shaded Lizzo at her concert. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, it's Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. Yep, not clickbait at all because yesterday's video re-reported how multiple lawsuits were coming against Lizzo because her former dancers were complaining that she's a monster to work with, there was some sexual harassment going on, issues with pay, they said they're not getting paid enough or they're being stiff. Now Beyonce comes into play and I'm gonna tell you this, Beyonce is shady. Beyonce has been known to be very shady, but she does it very sneakily. She does it very classy, her classy little shades. And as a time of making this video, Lizzo has not responded yet. She's still posting on her social media like nothing happened. She cannot hide from this now. Multiple articles have been written about Lizzo and her alleged lawsuit with her three former dancers. And again, y'all always say, believe the victim. Y'all always, always the first one to say it. So just because Lizzo's your queen, Keep the same energy. But it is the internet and sometimes y'all like to do the whole guilty until proven innocent as opposed to innocent until proven guilty. And we talked about this yesterday. We read the whole entire article about the Lizzo lawsuit yesterday. So catch up, grab a snack and come on back. But right now we're gonna talk about Beyonce shading Lizzo. <laughs> A lot of people are saying that Beyonce dragged Lizzo all over the internet last night and here's how. So Beyonce is on tour, it's on her Renaissance tour and during a part of her tour, she is doing a rendition of Madonna Vogue but she's replacing different names with who she feels are legendary creators. Now for example, in the Madonna rendition, she says Greta Garbo and Monroe, Dietrich and DiMaggio, Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean on the cover of a magazine. It's that, that she's doing that whole rendition but she's switching up the names. So in Beyonce's song, she does a Queen's rendition and she says, Queen Mother Madonna, Aaliyah, Strike a Pose, Vogue, You Know You Can Do It, Rosetta Tharp, Santee Gold, Bessie Smith, Nina Simone, Betty Davis, Solange Knowles, Badu Lizzo, Kelly Rowe. So in that part of the concert, people are singing along. You can see the name at the top of the concert. <laughs> When she comes upon Lizzo's name, she does not sing it. She ignores it, she pays it dust, she don't wanna hear it, take it back, she don't want it. She literally does not say her name. And people are shocked, people are shocked. So this all happened yesterday. And this is a way that I think Beyonce is snubbing Lizzo. This is like the ultimate shade, but let us not forget girls and guys and everyone in between, check this out. Because when Lizzo heard it for the first time at the concert, she cried. <laughs> turned around and gave this fake <laughs> like you know mother Beyonce said my name and she went on about how this is so a prolific thing for her and growing up she never thought she would you know have Beyonce her name stuff like that right I mean the whole I think if Beyonce is gonna just X out the Lizzo and not say it just replace it with Rich Lux okay can you imagine <laughs> okay so Lizzo is getting so much online backlash. Now apparently uh, uh, Erica Badu was too because Erica Badu called out of uh, Beyonce for wearing similar hats, but I honestly think that was just all jokes though. But from a PR marketing standpoint, I think that it's smart that Beyonce just doesn't say her name. And I'll tell you why. Because if Beyonce is to say Lizzo's name at the height of the Lizzo scandal, people in the crowd would be like, boo, boo, you support Lizzo? You're a, you're gonna enable Lizzo? You're gonna say her name on stage like that? During right now, it's just not a good look. Until Lizzo can prove her innocent or it goes to the courts and she pays him off. But forever, that's gonna be in the song. And it's very interesting that Beyonce chose this time to do it because it is the right time to do it. And I'll tell you why, because the day that this happened is the same day Beyonce had a concert that night. The news broke in the morning and by that night, Beyonce just did not say her name. That means Beyonce knows. She knows, not her last name, but she knows that Lizzo is in a scandal. And I'm pretty sure they told her, hey, Lizzo is in controversy right now. We don't want the smoke. We just want a safe, healthy concert safety, unlike Travis Scott. And uh, just avoid saying Lizzo's name right now. How do you think? 
this makes Lizzo feel. Again, you guys in the comments, yes, you guys had a lot to say yesterday, and I'm gonna read you some of the top comments because y'all went in. The most popular person of today ain't even comparable to what Beyonce's doing. And it's not gonna be appreciated. And even what I say, not gonna be really fully understood. And, I, and I'm cool with that. But bruh, like I've watched this woman perform since I was in the fifth grade. And I was shocked about some of the things that you guys said. And listen, this is why I tell y'all, leave a comment because it gets seen, it gets read, and it might be in the video. So some of the comments said, if true, this is very sad. Unfortunately, some of the people who are the most secure in themselves really just found a way to take it out on others instead of cope. Looks bad for Lizzo, but I'll wait to hear her side before I make my mind up. Because people are crazy as hell on either side of these issues. Definitely pumping the brakes on my Lizzo appreciation. I doubt it will end her career. Do you think she's going to bust out a ukulele? But honestly, I hope the crew is okay. My heart goes out to them. I mean, Callie Ballinger busted out a uke and started playing her ukulele. Is Lizzo gonna make an apology video? She gonna sing it? She gonna do her little thing? You know, she does that thing where she plays a flute or whatever. She gonna do that? Very interesting. Hold on, because the receipts go as follows. I believe it. Lizzo's always shown a complete lack of respect for others' bodily, anatomy, anatomy, including her own, as well as having very inappropriate mm -hmm, outbursts about being called out for wearing BDSM gear while pretty much nude as well as mimicking mm -hmm, acts in public, events where there's a lot of children, something that no sane person does. And I say this, as a retired SW with less than no shame and massively kinky frame. There's just some things that are an absolute no. Respect is respect and when you notice someone having none of it, you know why they're dangerous. Be or female or anyone in between. Followed by never like Lizzo, but I'm here for my queen Rich the house. I should have known you was on this story as soon as it came out Rich. I love you girl. And those are just some of the top comments on yesterday's video. And you know, it, it really rings true because Lizzo has always really put her body out in front and a lot of people on social media were reacting to it like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And she kept pushing those boundaries and people ended up loving her for that, embracing her for that. The overly sexualness, maybe that's why some of these women in the dancer, right, some, of, some of these dancers felt uncomfortable or maybe she wanted them to just, you know, push that boundary like that. But at the end of the day, you can only suggest things to people. You can't really pressure them. At the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. I don't agree with what Lizzo did in this situation if these allegations are true because, you know, we do live in Hollywood and people do tend to make things up for clicks and views and do things to make things up for uh, attention, seeking behavior, who knows? I'm not saying that's the case here. But what I am saying is things like that do happen. Now, again, Lizzo has not responded. She could easily shut it down and say, that's not how it went down. They're lying the house. They just want to get money out of me. And honestly, I think that Lizzo might be at the peak of her career, especially with the whole Beyonce concert, her name being sung almost every night when Beyonce goes live on her concerts with thousands of people. And um, this happens. Like, this is a big slap in the face. And I think that a lot of people are going to dial down on Lizzo. She is talk of the town right now. And I can assure you, I do not think that Lizzo has ever, ever gotten this much online backlash. Ever. And I think she's feeling the heat. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. That's what I think about it. But at the end of the day, Beyonce. For Beyonce to not say your name when your name is part of the song, I think is a total slap in the face. And I think that's what Beyonce did. I think Beyonce wanted to send a message to Lizzo. And I think the message was loud and clear. And for all these hundreds and thousands and millions of people internationally known who love Beyonce, for Beyonce to make that statement because actions speak louder than words. And for Beyonce to do that speaks volume. I think that some of the Beyonce fandom is gonna turn the other cheek to uh, Lizzo and not wanna go to her concerts or listen to her songs. And Lizzo's now making Beyonce look bad at this point, and that's how I feel about it. Because if you're gonna be in the graces of Beyonce, and you're gonna be in Beyonce's song, you should act right and really hold that title. And how can I say that? Like, and just walk with your held up higher because you have a higher standard. But that's just me. 
That's just me, who knows? I don't know, am I reaching here? So let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. I really wanna hear from you and don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, I love you so much. Hmm.